Christian Costa from Bulgaria. Singing a beautiful mess. Just to remind you a little bit about the procedure, we are taking pictures for a one minute at the press wall, then the performers are taking their places at our large table. And then we have some questions. And then please be ready with your questions for our finalists. So if you are going to take some pictures, please join photographers near the press wall. So we are moving to the second country and it's going to be Belarus. The next country we are going to meet is going to be Hungary. So please welcome the next finalist, Imri from Israel.
And now we are moving to the ninth country, who is going to the grand final and is going to be the Netherlands. So, hey everyone! <laughs> um, I can't believe that I'm here. I just can't. Oh my god. Thank you so much for voting for Bulgaria, for Tim Chris, for number 15. I, you don't know how glad I am to be here. And yes, uh, we've received a message from Dima. He posted an Instagram picture of me saying that he supports us and that he's always with us. And his manager wrote to us saying that he was really amazed by my performance, and I'm really happy that he is happy. And my family, they're here. Just look at them. There they are. Everyone is here. So I'm just, I'm just really happy. Wow, thank you so much. Such a great support. Thank you, guys. So the next finalist is Belarus and Navi Bank. Congratulations to you guys. So what 
are your feelings right now? And Belarus didn't make the final few years. So, so how's it feeling today? We feel that our language is an amazing language because he helped us to be the final! <laughs> Thank you so much that people heard us, uh, our message, our love uh, on the stage. Our family here too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, and we are moving to Croatia. So, as we can see, there is a place in the grand final for some experiments. So, would you like to say something to your friends and to all the people who supported you? I just like to say thank you, a massive thank you. You know, the song says, um, dare to dream and make it real, you know? It says, do your best, take a chance. We took a huge risk. I knew that this was gonna be a massive risk, but I believed so much, so much from day one. And the song, my friend, I believe, and I was so proud to sing it right here in Ukraine, Kiev in these times which are, you know, not a very good times for Ukraine. Croatia has been through a horrible war 25 years ago when I was 10. So I'm familiar with these emotions and I think that Ukraine has did it. One big round of applause for Ukraine! Woo, thank you so much. Such a pleasure to hear that and thank you for your message. And I, I think it's, finalist... it's, the best, it's the best place to sing this song, you know, right now in the whole world. Thank you so very much. We are so happy, so happy. Thank you. Our next finalist is Yoti Papai from Hungary. Hello! Thank Yoti, you. what special we are going to see in the final? We're going to do in the finals pretty much the same thing as we did today. And I'm so proud that in the history of Eurovision, uh, as a gypsy, I managed to get in the finals, and it's, it's such an honor to do this and to be there. <laughs> And today I did not sing just for Hungarians, just for gypsies, or just for minorities, but everybody in the world who's been oppressed, who had problems, who's been down. So this goes all for you guys. Thank you. And I left my, a piece of my heart in Kyiv. Thank you very much. Thank you, Papa. Okay, moving to Denmark, Anja. <laughs> so, 1963, 2000, 2013. Uh, do you think it can be 2018? I really, really hope so. I just have to say I feel so lucky to be here. And um, this whole opportunity has been incredible and I can't believe I've made it here. And I couldn't have done it without your support and without everyone's help. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for your performance. And then Imri from Israel. Hey, how are you? Imri, two appearances at the Eurovision Song Contest as a baking vocalist, and now you make it to the final. How does it feel? I feel alive, guys. I feel alive, and I'm so happy, and I'm so grateful and honored to be here to sit in this table uh, as a finalist. And I, I just, I'm, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the best performance we can. And I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you so much. And then and congratulations go to Romania. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ilinka, Alex, um, taking some lines from your lyrics, I'm a dreamer, if you don't believe it, come and see me. I will, I will teach, teach you. you. <laughs> if you never try, you'll never be alive. So you tried, and yeah. uh, now um, you are alive. So um, what would we you choose? We feel alive for Simri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would you choose as a describing message for your grand final to stay alive? to the whole world. Thank yeah, you for I your support <laughs> for tonight and hope to see you voting in the grand final. And yodeling, you. yes, along with us. It. <laughs> Thank yeah, you so much. It. Thank you once again. And now we're moving to Joust from Norway. You! Hey guys, from your song, so when it's all or nothing, I put my nerves in the coffin. You seem very relaxed and confident at the stage. Where are your nerves right now? And uh, what is the main recipe to get rid of them? Uh, I think the Eurovision crowd and singing for Europe is the best way to put your nerves in the coffin because the crowd were amazing. And uh, we're just so happy we get to do it again. Uh, our, our, our song is about what we are doing right now. All of the artists are grabbing the moments. Uh, this is the biggest moment of our life. And uh, now we're going to party. Yeah. Thank you. So the Netherlands, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. These three beautiful jeans congratulate, uh, dedicated their song to their mom and you told us that you would love to see the proud smile on all of the faces from every single uh, person of your country and especially from your mom. Yes. So, did you have a chance to speak to her and to receive some uh, congratulations? Yeah. Yes, uh, we already spoke to her, we spoke to her on the phone, she was so incredibly happy but most of all she was happy for us that we could do this tonight and that we could i think empower so many people thank you all we felt so strong on stage and we definitely want to empower even more people in the grand finals thank you thank you a thousand times <laughs> thank you once again and our last <laughs> finalist is nathan trent from austria hey everyone oh my god <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, while I was just commenting the show for Ukraine and I saw the moment when we had just the last, last place in the final, I thought you are going to lose your mind. How does it feel? You know what? I, I mean, okay, um, like uh, going last is like, okay, I, waiting is really, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. It was really uh, nerve wracking because uh, I saw the camera going back and front and I was like, is it staying? Is it, is it, well. Um, it stayed, <laughs> and uh, then we 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 heard uh, we heard Austria, and I'm just um, I, if I may say how I feel right now, I'm just extremely overwhelmed, and I uh, wasn't expecting such a such a result. So um, I'm deeply thankful, and uh, I hope that the message of the song got through, and I'm extremely extremely happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to you, Nathan. As I can see, that place at the very end of this table makes people a bit nervous because the same thing happened to Blanche because she was the last to pass from the very first final. So it's kind of speechless place, yeah? Okay, we're moving to the questions for, from our floor, please. And the first country to answer will be Bulgaria. So Christian, be ready. Yes, please, who have a question to Bulgaria? Mm, I see lots of hands over there. Dear journalists and press, it's time for you to ask questions to our, our finalists, please. Hi, uh, I'm from Bulgaria National Television. Christian, uh, what is your secret? Uh, what helped uh, you the most this night? It's, it's my whole team and like our delegation. It's the best. I will say it. It's the best. I love them from the bottom of my heart and I'm really thankful that they are here with me all the time. So there are no secrets. <laughs> Thank you. And now uh, questions to Nathan Tran from Austria, please. 
Yes, please. At the back seat, Radio International, stand up, please. Nathan, you must be over the moon, right? <laughs> Can you describe the feeling that you actually had when you were the last, having to wait so long? Yes. And what is your message to the other countries that didn't make it? Um, I honestly have to say that um, it's, it's been an amazing experience to share this with the other candidates and still um, the, the people that maybe didn't get through, they just did an amazing job and they, they made the event and the show and Eurovision what it is and so um, they should be very proud of themselves and they can be happy because they did very great. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Belarus. Are you falling asleep? <laughs> Any questions? Navy band? Yes, please. The delegation of Belarus. Congrats for our team. Yep. Uh, so, our uh, first Belarusian uh, national channel, guys, is Minsk ready to host Eurovision 2018. So? It's a difficult question. So we'll try to do our best. We. We have, we just, just have fun on the stage. It's our, uh, our own message. Yes, we'll try. See you in Minsk. Thank you. Yes. And that's the main thing about your vision to have some fun. So now, please questions for the Netherlands. Oh, Jean. <laughs> in the second row, yes. Dear Pre Press, could you please uh, stand up as soon as you see that we have yeah. decided upon you? Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Se Sebastian, Destination Eurovision Poland, congratulations for your big success. Thank you. You put more lights than shadows tonight on oh, the arena. And my question is, what do you mean for you to have one more shot, one more big chance to tell the Europe your story, the whole concept of this song? Well. Mm. Um, if I understand the question correctly, we just really wanted to be in the finals because we felt what we felt on that stage was just so immensely overwhelming. We loved every single second of it, mostly because we felt so much love throughout the entire venue. It was already so good. And then when the results came in, when we saw what people were saying online, um, it was just exactly what we hoped for. We really wanted to empower people and really turn the shadows into light. And tonight, I think the three of us really felt it on stage. It it's happened. an honor, yeah. It definitely happened. And we would want to do that even more um, in the finals. Um, and we definitely want to reach people and just give them a positive vibe through our times. Thank you. Thank you, girls. As you're in a grand final, so you did your best. Congratulations on that. Moving to Croatia, who is going to ask a question. To Jacques, yes, please. Simon, stand up. Hi, my friend. Hello. Who do you think may be the biggest competitor to consume all 12 points from ex-Yugoslavia countries in the final for you? Uh, if I understood correctly, who do you think is going to get 12 points from the, the ex who can be the, the, Yeah, Who can be? I'm hoping that could be me. I know that. <laughs> I'm praying to God that it would be me. Yes, uh, I just uh, learned that uh, Croatia is the only country from the ex Yugoslav Republic. And this makes me so happy and so, so, so uh, uh, ecstatic on one side and so sad for all the others that didn't make it, you know, because. Um, I really spent a lot of time with my colleagues, with my contestants, and as much as I would like to say congrats to all of you guys on each side, <laughs> uh, I'd like to say you know that my regrets are uh, so so high for all the others that didn't make it. You know, it's a game. We were ready to take it. You know, but uh, I'm hoping to get a chance to to hug them all. You know, with the with this Croatian flag. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're moving to Jaws from Norway, please. Who's going to have some questions? Lady in the middle, please. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mari from Finland, Iltalehti. 
There's three Nordic countries in the final. What do you think about that? That's awesome. I, s I said earlier that uh, this Eurovision would be cold, and uh, the North is here. <laughs> the Nordics are so strong this year, and uh, we predicted a strong Nordic field, and now we're here. And uh, what did you say? The winter is coming. Yeah. Yeah, to Eurovision. <laughs> Thank you so much. Moving to the next question. Hungary, Yossi Papai. Yes, uh, a man with the hat. Szia, Yossi. Először is gratulálunk. So, hello, Yossi, and uh, big, big congratulations for your qualification. We see that you have a bigger smile than usual, and we are very, very curious about since which moment do you have it, and could, when will you maybe stop it? <laughs> Nagyon szépen mosolyogsz, hogy meddig fogsz menetelni, mert meddig tart ez a mosolygás. Hát ez a mosoly most már uh, akár... Well, I hope that I can keep my smile uh, for as long as I can, because this has been a huge victory for me. And so that I could, could win uh, the national finals in Hungary also, and then to go on to Europe, which is a great thing for me. And you know, it's very hard to guess uh, what God wants to do with me. But already I feel very, very blessed and I'm very thankful to God for what happened so far. Thank you very much. And now we're moving to Romania. Ilinka with Alex Florea. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> the third row. So congratulations. Uh, while you. you were singing, I was thinking like, could you yodel a normal sentence? Is it possible to do? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah? I can yodel anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so can you yodel for us how you feel right now? <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's how I feel. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, that's so complicated. And we're moving to Denmark. Yes, please, man in the black T-shirt. Hello, Anya. Hi. Uh, I'm Troll Eurovox. Uh, I wonder, like, how does it feel to bring uh, Eurovision final to Denmark? You know that uh, last year's Denmark didn't qualify, and what does it mean for you? It means so much for me. I feel like, you know, I've really been accepted by my country, having a, you know, an, a, a, such, having an Australian background and Danish heritage. Um, I feel so lucky to to have been accepted by both of my homelands, and um, to bring to bring uh, the final back to Denmark. I think, I can. It's like a weight lifted off my shoulders because everyone's sort of been like, "Can you do it? Are you going to do this?" And and um, I, you know, I've had the chance to to prove myself and and say that. Here I am, and this is me, and and I can't wait for the world to see, you know, uh, my song. And I really hope that everyone loves it, and that, yeah, it, it does well. I'm, I feel so, like I said before, I feel so lucky, and so honoured um, to be representing such a lucky country. And um, yeah, so so proud and so lucky. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the next question is please for Imri from Israel. Uh, Hello, Imri. Hey. It's Blair Martin from Radio 4 Triple Z Queer Radio Program in Brisbane, Australia. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hat trick, as we say in the English speaking world. Congratulations for that. Three years in a row, Israel has sent the diverse life of Tel Aviv to Eurovision. What does that mean as a message to religious conservatives, not just in your country, but around the world, and other performers in the industry who make homophobic remarks and disrespect our community? What does your place in the grand final mean? You know, um, I'm coming for the music. Uh, the Eurovision is a music competition. I'm coming to sing. Uh, I don't look at the other stuff. I'm coming to represent my country as a beautiful country, uh, as a beautiful place to live in. 
Uh, we're coming to bring the party from Israel to make a European, a huge European party. And for three minutes, I want everyone to forget about the problems and the worries and just to feel alive with me. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we're going to take questions in random order. So please, dear journalists and press, let's take the question here in the second row. Deborah Naderemi, weeweeblogs.com. My question is for Anja Nissen from Denmark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't stop loving. <laughs> how exactly do you lay down your armor, and how long does it take you to do it? Oh, it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, really, I think I'm an open book, to be honest. I think I am so. I'm almost too open. I almost, almost always have my armor down because I think that's how the world should be, really. I think that we should all be open and accepting for love. And um, I feel so, so amazing to be on that stage. And, and before I went on stage today, you know what really changed for me? was for so long um, in rehearsals, I've been thinking, who am I singing this song to? Like, what is this song about for me? Because it goes through stages as a songwriter, you know, you, you change meaning. And today I said, you know what? This song is for everyone who's always believed in me. And right now I'm gonna get on this stage and I'm gonna give everything. I'm gonna completely, like you said, lay down my armor. And the thing that I said to myself, and I've said it a million times already, but I just said like, I'm so lucky. And it made me get tears in my eyes and it made me feel emotional. And I got on stage and I was just like, wow. And the audience was there, everyone was there. And I felt so open, my heart was like, it was like pumping so fast and I was like, sure, am I gonna like be able to get through this and have breath because there's nowhere to breathe in my song? Um, but it was incredible and Europe, I wanna thank you so much um, for supporting me. This is incredible. And I'm gonna be laying down my armor continuously and letting you all in and letting the love in and let it shine and everyone just, you know, yeah, that's how it should be. That's how it should be. Thank you, Anya. <laughs> uh, we're moving to the next question from the very first row over there. Yes, please stand up so that the guy can see you. Hello, Gil Laufer from ec2lq.com. And my question is to Imri. Uh, Imri, first, well done for getting over all the difficulties in your rehearsals and proving us and everyone that you really deserve uh, your place and you're a star. Thank so you. thank you very much. Thank you. Um, You've been to three qualification announcements in these uh, three years. Which one is the most remarkable one, the most exciting one, and why? Uh, you know, I'm trying not to think about the, about the past. I'm coming as a fresh representative. Uh, but if I need to say, I have to say the first one with Golden Boy, which we were uh, qualified the last. And Nathan can, can, can say this, that it's... Horrible! It's a horrible feeling to 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 wait this time, uh, but but it when when you do it when you qualify it it's it's an amazing feeling. Yeah. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to take next question. Please at the back seat. Hi, Alistair Birch from Eurofile. My question is from for Anya, please. I had the honor of meeting your parents and grandparents. Oh my goodness. In the car park How just before happen? the show. How did that happen? And was it, are you okay? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't let them in, but I'm sure they're watching the web stream. <laughs> what message do you have for your parents oh and your god, grandparents? Oh my god, don't make me cry. Seriously? Oh my god. So oh, please give her a warm applause for support. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much. <laughs> to my mom and to my family, <laughs> even though I've gone all the way to Denmark and they've stayed in Australia, they have supported me through it, thick and thin through everything. And I feel, yeah, like I couldn't have had a better family and everyone has been saying that to me today. They've been saying, you have such an amazing family. You were so lucky. And that's a, like, again, that phrase, I am so lucky and, and I really, 
believe that and um, I feel so grateful to have such a beautiful family that have supported me as much as they have since I came up with this crazy dream um, to, to chase um, you know an international singing career at the age of four years old um, and they've supported me through everything so I'm s yeah oh, I can't say it again I'm so thank lucky. you so much wow it's getting so <laughs> emotional yes you please in the white t-shirt yes mm. Hello, my name is Daniel, I'm from Israel. Uh, I'm reporting for NRG360. My question is for Imri from Israel. First of all, congratulations. Mazal tov, anachnu achim meusharim ba'olam. We're the happiest nation alive in Europe right now. Um, in the past three months, you struggled with a lot of doubters all over the internet and also um, here in the Eurovision bubble. Uh, now that you're qualified, what do you have to say to them? Um, wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a hard question. I think, I think I proved them, I proved them wrong. And I proved them I, I deserve to be here. I deserve to be in the final. And, and even more. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy I, I actually did it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we are going to take more questions. But not for Denmark and Israel. Israel. Yes. <laughs> so please, there at the back seat, Vanya. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, I'm representing Russian Radio in Moldova. And my question will be, of course, to Romania. Congratulations. I'm so happy that our neighbors were qualified in the final. And my question will be, in your lyrics, you said, come and sing this song. How many people sing with you, uh, yodel it, when you performed on the stage? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. You know, the first time when we went, we went to London and, uh, in our tour, and we didn't know what to expect. I mean, you bring, who brings a yodel rap song to Eurovision? <laughs> and then we went to London and we performed for the first time and everyone was like crazy and they knew all the lyrics and it was so amazing and we couldn't believe it. So yeah, everyone yodels. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And the last question is going to be here with the hat. Yes. Thank you so much. My question goes to Hungary. Szia, Jóci, Vörös Gábor, Pannon Rádió és Televízió Szabadka. And my question is, what was the most hardest moment now here for you at the Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, was it just before your performance or any time else? Well, I think it's been a constant fight, a struggle in a way. But for me, the hardest thing is that I don't really like to compete, to be honest. And I don't really like to defeat other people. So it's important for me not to, not to make wounds to, to others, so not, so not to hurt them. So I think it's, it's really it's not a personal issue here. It's, it's about the songs and about the messages. Thank you very much. And now, and now we have this magical ball which is going to define in which part of the final you guys are going to be. So let's start. Yeah, let's start. Be brave enough to find mm, I think this your one. half of the semi-final. So Bulgaria goes um, go to the... the... <laughs> okay. It's the second half. Yeah. <laughs> the Woo! Second, half. second half of the grand final goes to Bulgaria. <laughs> yes. yep, moving on. <laughs> Belarus Navy Band is going to perform in in first the First half of the grand final. Woo! One more Thanks thing, so just make sure you show to the cameras which half of the grand final you take. So, uh, 
Jack. Okay. Croatia. Congratulations. Okay, God, give me what you got. <laughs> Whatever you say, I'll be happy. Okay. Oh, this is pretty tight. Okay. Yes, it is. Let me just. Oh, it's the first half. First okay. half for Croatia. I'm cool with that. Great. Congratulations. Let's do it. <laughs> Moving Super. on to Hungary, Yossi. What? <laughs> Yossi just said that we should go to the third half. <laughs> third half, hmm. First half of the grand final goes to Hungary, Yossi Papai. Anya. <sighs> But I don't get my too superpowers. emotional as Ooh, you can. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this I'm, time. I'm feeling which one has, okay, this one. Do you Let's, feel a special energy? I don't know. I, will be, <laughs> I probably am wrong. But you know what? So, I can't even open this. Denmark. First half. First yes. half for Denmark. <laughs> Israel oh, Imri is going to perform in... I almost started singing with you guys. Sing, sing. What's what's wrong with this? Uh, it's really mm, hard. Mm, mm. Wait. It's really hard. First half. First half yeah. of the yeah. grand final goes to Israel. Romania. So yodel your place, please. You can do it together. Do it together. Yeah. Not that one. Do it together, not that one. <laughs> so Romania. Yes! Second half. Second half of the grand final goes to Romania. You're the lead. Norway. Uh huh. Oh. Yes. Second half of the grand yes. final goes to Norway. Juice, congratulations. Woo, girls. She can do it. Okay, she, she. I felt like this one. Nathan, be ready. Oh, yeah. No. First half of, first half of the grand final, Netherlands. Nathan Trent, and the last one was going to be, was going to be, no one knows. Oh. Wow. First half. Wow, first half of the grand final goes to Nathan Trent. So, we did our job for today, actually. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you for your evening, for your performance, and be ready for the grand final for your house. So one more time, give it up for our finalists. And thank you very much for being with us today. And we wish for all of you the best of luck on Saturday.